All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So earlier today, we went through the updated top 10 list for the hardest hitting LRs currently available in the game. And now it's time to talk about the top 10 hardest hitting TURs, that's transcended URs that are in the game right now. Now, of course, before we jump into it, a huge shout out to the same amazing people that brought us the previous list, Kariru2, as well as Levi underscore 8912, Emu Ayaka, Gusaku Ai, Trash Guy Bob, and also Kaminu Segi from the Dokkan subreddit. And uh, without further ado, let's pop over. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's talk about the rules, okay, for this list. First things first, all units will be calculated on an average of 4.5 turns. Units are calculated at the rainbow level. Units are calculated on their optimal teams. Optimal teams are determined by the highest damaging lineup for a team while fitting under the complete leader skill, ignoring no parts of it. A new counter average as well as a new hit received average have also been found. Units who do not make the optimal teams will not be considered for the list and units who appear twice on a team will have their highest APT rotation considered. Any supports on the team are factored into the APT of the units shown. And of course, APT, it's attack per turn. Okay, so when it says optimal, it means the highest attack per turn. Okay, so from there, let's pop over to the list now. And uh, we're starting here with some honorable mentions. So ones that didn't make the top 10 list, but they still hit really hard and they would have made this list if this was a top 15 list, right? So at number 15, we have the Fizz Final Form Cooler with an attack per turn of 5.41 million. And honestly, this one really surprised me because he's just mad old. You know, he's one of the OG 120% leads without an EZA yet. It's coming, but he doesn't have an Extreme Z Awakening yet. And I want to say he came out like three to three and a half years ago, maybe even a little bit longer. And the fact that he's still in the top 15 of the hardest hitting TURs in the game right now is just uh, very, very impressive. So yeah, Fizz Cooler at number 15. At number 14, we have the Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku with an attack return of 5.52 million. At number 13, we have the, I believe, Tech Great Saiyan Man. I want to say three. It might be four, though. Um, I haven't played Heroes in a long time, so that's my bad. But this dude right here with an attack return of 5.53 million. And then number 12 is Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks with an Extreme Z Awakening, of course. Attack return of 5.59 million. And then at number 11, we have the Token Awakened Oceanus Shenron with an attack return of 5.8 million. Okay, so those are your honorable mentions. Those are number 15 to 11 of the hardest hitting TURs in the game. And from there, let's get into the top 10. Okay, so at number 10, we have AGL Bardock. Okay, so here's his team. He's under his own leader skill. And we got the Tech LR Broly, STR LR Broly, AGL Turtles, is Super Saiyan Bardock, as well as AGL Tora. And his average support on this team is 30% attack and 10% defense. Now for his links, Fierce Battle, Prepare for Battle, and Saiyan Lineage have a 100% uptime. Saiyan Pride is 66.67%, Saiyan Warrior Race 61.33%, Super Saiyan 38.67%, and the First Awakened 12.89%. Some additional notes here, 8% Facing Wicked Bloodline, 38.67% Transformation Uptime, and his supported defense after attacking is 185,550, and his supported attack per turn is 5 million, 882,614, which is enough to get him into the number 10 spot on this list. Okay, so from there, in number 9, we have the Fizz Berserk Kale, of course, with her Extreme Z Awakening, which is still missing from Global, by the way. Just putting that out there. Should have been here like a couple months ago, but it is what it is. We're still waiting for it. Bandai Spies. Okay, so Kale is at number 9. And uh, she's on the STR Kefla team with LR Kale and Khalifla, double Keflas, STR Kaba, STR Kale, as well as TUR Kale and Khalifla. She has 100% uptime for Warriors of Universe 6 and Tournament of Power, and 50% uptime for Prepare for Battle, 
100% uptime on damage reduction passive. Her supported defense is only 47,252, but of course she does get a ton of damage reduction on her passive. And her supported attack per turn is 6,235,557, which is roughly, uh, I want to say, 350,000 more than the AGL of Bardock. Okay, so that's number 9. And at number 8, we have the newly Dokken Awakened Fizz Launch. Okay, so she's on the Earthlings team. With a double LR Krillin lead, we got Oob, we got Tech Tien, we got the uh, Kid Chi Chi as well as Master Roshi. And Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Shattering the Limit, and Battlefield Diva all have a 100% uptime. She has 100% transformation uptime and 100% uptime on 6 turn restricted part of passive. Okay, so her supported defense is 115,781. And her supported attack per turn is 6,409,746. I'm betting a lot of people, especially my global players out there, did not know just how amazing this launch was. But she is really, really insane with her Dokken Awakening. So hopefully that drops on global, you know, sooner than later, right? So that's number eight. At number seven, we have the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. That transforms, of course, into Majin Vegeta. We're running him on a uh, Vegeta's family team with a double LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. We got STR Gogeta. Uh, we got some supports here. And as far as the average support, we're looking at 23.33% attack and 10% defense. And uh, for his links, Saiyan Pride, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle all have a 100% uptime. Prepare for Battle has a 45.83% uptime. And Royal Lineage, 15.28%, 90% uptime on 3 orbs collected, 54.17% transformation uptime, and after attacking, his supported defense is 203,090, and supported attack per turn is 6,598,528, roughly 100, almost 200,000 actually more than launch, who is still very impressive, but there is Number seven, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta. Okay, so at number six, we have the Extreme Z Awakened Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. One of the 120% leads, of course. Actually, the first EZA 120% lead. And uh, we're running him on a Super Saiyan 3 team with the double Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And Limit Breaking Form, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle have a 100% uptime. He has six orbs on average and 50% uptime on three tech orbs collected. So his supported defense is gonna be 94,758, and his supported attack per turn is 7,286,361, which I believe is a pretty big jump. Yeah, it is. Um, from the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, we're looking at a like 600,000, actually more like 700,000 increase between number seven and number six. Okay, so we have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly with the Extreme Z Awakening in the number six slot. And then at number five, we have STR Kefla. She's gonna be on her own team with a bunch of Universe 6 units, and her average support is 50% attack and defense, of course, from the STR Kaba. And her links, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, and Battlefield Diva have a 100% uptime. Fierce Battle has a 66.67% uptime, Super Saiyan 54.17%, and Saiyan Warrior Race 15.27%. She has 43.33% Super Saiyan uptime, and 8.33% Super Saiyan 2 uptime, 47% facing Pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga, and 100% uptime on 6 orbs collected, which of course is a lot easier with SDR Kaba. And her supported defense is going to be 159,363. And her supported attack per turn is 7,485,480, which is roughly 200,000 more than Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. So STR Kefla, number 5. At number 4, we have AGL Super Saiyan Trunks and Mai from the Tech Vegito banner. And I wasn't expecting to see them here, I'll be honest, but here they are. And apparently, this is the team that yields the highest possible attack per turn. A combination of Future and Time Travelers, 
where they're linked up with the LR Trunks and Mai. And their average support on this team is 13.33% attack and defense. And they have a 100% uptime on most of their links, Brainiacs, Courage, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Cold Judgment, and Dismal Future, and 33.33% uptime for solid support. They also have 45.83% active skill uptime, 16% uptime facing Future Saga, 5% uptime facing Goku Black or Zamasu, and their supported defense after attacking is 294,277, and their supported attack per turn is 7,591,880, which lands them in the number 4 spot, about 100,000 more than the STR Kefla, which like I said, I was not expecting, but uh, once I take a look at this, it makes a little bit more sense, right? So from there, we have STR Cooler in the number three spot. I don't think anybody is surprised to see him this high on the list. And in terms of pure damage output, his best team is actually a movie bosses team led by double Turlesses. He's got an average support of 43.33% attack and 16.67% defense on this team and all of his links have 100% uptime. Thirst for Conquest, Brutal Beatdown, Universes, Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, and Fierce Battle. He has 8% uptime facing two or more enemies, 53% uptime facing pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, and 28.71% transformation uptime. His supported defense is 159,735, and his supported attack return it's 7,803,293. Okay, so that is an increase of roughly 200,000 over the Trunks and Mai. Now at number two, we have Fizz Beerus. Now he's gonna be on a Bond of Master and Disciple team with the double Int Future Gohan leads. And of course we gotta have Int Mottos in there. His average support on this team is 75% attack and defense, and he's getting 100% uptime on Innocence, Godly Power, Fierce Battle, and Shocking Speed, 78% uptime on getting hit before attacking in the first slot, 0% active skill uptime, and his defense after receiving an attack is 195,550, and his supported attack per turn is 9,169,700. And 95, which is almost actually it's more than a million over STR Cooler in the number three spot. So that is Cooler, or sorry, Beerus at number two. But of course, at number one, I think most people were expecting this. It's Fizz Vegito Blue, who I have consistently called. I mean, at this point, I don't think he's the best TUR in the game, but I do think he is definitely my favorite TUR in the game. And of course, the hardest hitting TUR currently available in Dokkan right now. Uh, I'm gonna start with his supported attack return, which is 12,564,676. That is more than 3 million over Beerus at number two, man. Like, it's not even close. I don't think he's going to be dethroned anytime soon. He's probably going to be on this list for many, many years to come. Like, even if he gets dethroned and is not number one anymore, he's going to be in the top 10 for like two, three, four years into the future, right? Because he's just that insane. Anyways, final trump card team. We got the double Vegito leads. A uh, bunch of supports, obviously. Average support is, uh, you guys can't see it, but it's 39.47% attack and defense. 100% uptime on Power Bestow by God, Fuse Fighter over in a Flash and Fierce Battle, and 33.33% uptime on Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. 1.2 counters prior to attacking, 1.5 counters after attacking on average. He should be moved between slot 1 and slot 2 for maximum counters, which makes sense. So wherever there are more enemy attacks, just put him into that slot. And he also gets 7.33% critical hit chance support. And after attacking, his supported defense is 143,083. And once again, supported attack return is 12,564,676. That is ridiculous. No, seriously, like that is absolutely insane. So there you go, man. Fizz Vegito Blue is still the king. 
um, at least as far as damage output goes. Defensively, he can hold his own as long as you can keep him away from supers. And uh, that is the list, guys. Number one, Fizz Vegito Blue. Number two, Beerus. Number three, Cooler. Number four, Trunks and Mai. Number five, STR Kefla. Number six, Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Number seven, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Number eight, Fizz Launch. Number nine, Berserk Kale. Number 10, Bardock. And then between 15 to 11, we have Oceanus Shenron, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, Saiyan Man 3 or 4, I forgot, uh, Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, and Fizz Final Form Cooler. This guy with an easy A is going to be probably in like the top 5. Um, I'm not sure, because I obviously haven't done the calculations myself, but considering he's number 15 without an easy A, if they just gave him... A little bit more attack and uh, obviously you know with better stats with uh 15 super attack like he's he's gonna be easily one of the hardest hitting TURs like in the top five most likely if not at least top 10 but uh yeah i'm so excited guys for this guy's extreme z awakening like more than any other 120 lead this is the guy i want okay so anyways that is the list thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, of course, once again, a big shout out to everybody that worked on this list. Kariru2, Levi8912, Imu Ayaka, Kusaku Ai, uh, Trash Guy Bob, and Kaminu, uh, sorry, Kamino Segi. That's always a hard name for me. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, that is the list and that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.